fear a God, fearing Filipino, and you are not into something which is destructive to your fellow men, you have absolutely nothing. I will die for you. Okay, ba? Can you hear me, sir? Yes. Okay. Ha? Ah, alam niyo bakit tayo nanditong lahan? Ladies and gentlemen, fellow volunteers, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Mayong buntag sa inyong hangtanan. Alam niyo po bakit tayo nandito lahat? Kasi mahirap po magpalaki ng magulang. Sabi ko sa kanya, huwag kang tumakbo. Sabi ko sa kanya, ilang beses ko sinabi sa kanya, sinulatan ko pa siya, kasi parang hindi siya nakikinig. Sinulatan ko, sabi ko, huwag kang tumakbo. Sabi niya, matagal na tayo nag-aantay. Kung hindi ako tatakbo, I do not think that this country will turn around. O sige na, nanalo na kayo lahat. O din, nandito na naman tayo ulit. But you know, napansin ko, we came together. We became, we committed to be partners for change. But sa 14-15 months, medyo nakalimutan na natin yon. I noticed that ang nangyari, Filipinos against Filipinos. Filipinong pula against Filipinong yellow. Filipinong pula against Filipinong puti. So I thought to myself, nandun ako sa, sa Davao, sa Mindanao, naisip ko, ko, isa lang naman tayo. Filipinos. Isa na wala namang Filipino A, Filipino B, Filipino rich, Filipino poor. Isa lang naman ang sinasabi ng konstitusyon natin na Filipino. No. So I thought to myself, sabi ko, hindi naman ako part ng DDS, hindi man ako member ng Ford, hindi man ako member ng MRRD, ng PRRD, o sino pa yung mga barangay captains, hindi ako member. I was only a member of Biaheng Duterte, which was an initiative by my mother, na sinabi niya, kailangan natin lumabas, mga niya at magpasalamat, and tinulungan kami ng mga kaibigan ko, mga classmates ko sa high school. Yun yung grupo namin. So I thought to myself, sabi ko, siguro, pwede na na ako na lang magtawag since hindi naman ako member ng any group. Sabi ko, kailangan natin tayong lahat in lahat ng gusto sumali sa atin na mag-alyansa para sa ating gobyerno, para sa ating presidente, at para sa ating para sa ating ano? Bayan. Okay? Hindi yun yung speech ko actually. Yung speech ko nandito. Okay. To my fellow volunteers, I said that already, ladies and gentlemen, maayong buntag, kaninyong tanan. I am very happy to be with all of you this morning. Thank you very much for spending money, taking time out of your busy schedule to join me and all 
the fellow volunteers to launch the alliance. I would just like to explain to you na nihinanpik ko na lang, pasensya na kayo, hindi ko man kilala lahat. I've been trying to thank everybody na mamit ko. Pero pinili ko na lang na gawing um, secretary namin si Councilor Dani Dayang Hira Because siya din yung tumutulong sa akin uh, doon sa Davao City. So, kilala ko siya. And uh, si Ronald Kaidema from Duterte Youth. Yes. Sila na lang. Iwan niyo po yung details ninyo. Contact details, contact number, email, so that pag meron tayong positive action, project, anything, that changes your community in a positive way, we will let you know. Para pupunta tayo, sabay-sabay tayo, magtulungan tayo. And um, I'd like to thank Mayor Lani Cayetano, Attorney Karen Jimeno, Governor Irene, Amy Marcos, Ma'am Andrea Domingo, for standing beside me today. I believe in dissent because it is a facet of democracy. Lagi ko nga kinokontra tatay ko eh. May demokrasya sa bahay namin. However, however, it is a different matter altogether if you lie just to oppose. Kung gumagawa ka na ng kwento, nagsisinungaling ka na para lang mangontra. Mali na yun. And what is worse? Yes. Ang aking kumpare, ang ninong ni Stonefish, President Joseph Erap Estrada. Alam ninyo, hindi, marami ang nagtatanong, bakit, bakit naging ninong ni Stonefish si Erap? Bakit ako hindi ako naging ninong ni Stonefish? Marami nagtanong sa akin yan. But you know, um, President Erap has been very kind to me. Like Ma'am Sharon Coneta, they knew me since I was very young. And he was very, uh, and, and they were very kind to me nung bata pa ako. So, be kind because children remember your kindness when they grow old. Pasingit lang yun. Hindi yun ang speech ko sandali. And it's very bad. It's very bad if you paint a sad and hopeless Philippines outside. Okay lang siguro mag-away tayo dito sa loob. Tayo lang naman eh. Pero pag yung reputasyon na ng bansa natin ang nasisira sa mga kapitbahay natin, mali na yun. Mali na yun. Our president is human. Very, very imperfect. Very imperfect. But he's a wrangler. He is a wrangler. And we only have six years? Five? Five na lang. Five na lang. We only have five years to take advantage of that warrior spirit, of that aggressive spirit, and use him, siya ang gagamitin natin, to create a better future for our country. Kung hindi natin siya tutulakin, hindi natin tutulakin yung mga cabinet secretaries natin, hindi natin tutulakin ang mga governors natin, hindi natin tutulakin ang mga mayors natin, 
as, as private sector, walang mangyayari. So we must hold them accountable and we must make use of them for our country. We should all rally behind our government and focus on the task of turning our country into a globally competitive player in the ASEAN region. Yun yung dapat na ginagawa natin. Not turning against each other. I call on all the supporters of President Duterte to unite and all those who want to join us. May nagtanong kanina, which is a very legitimate question. Sabi niya, kalaban namin yan. We cannot ever work. Which is true. Ako, pag may kalaban ako, kalaban na kita for life. <laughs> Hindi na kita. Pwede maging kaibigan. Pag sinabi kong magkaaway na tayo, tapos na yan, wala na tayong babalikan. Correct. That's a very tao. That's a very, ano, basic parang human nature. Anger, pride. Kung wala kang anger, kung wala kang pride, di ka na tao. Diba? Correct. Yes. Pero, as I said, and which was announced by Attorney Karen kanina, we can be individually positive. Pwede ka namang Uh, pwede naman magkalaban tayo kayo dyan. Magkalaban ba tayo? Hindi naman. Wala ba akong kaaway dyan? Wala. Oh. Example. Magkalaban. Kalaban ko kayo. Kalaban ninyo ako. Of course. Of course, hindi na talaga yan pwede. Parang magkapitbahay lang ba na nag-away? Na forever na hindi mag, mag, mag-reconcile? Yes. Pero you can be positive in your communities. Diba? You can do everything in your power to be positive catalysts in your communities. And I can be a positive catalyst in, ma- in, in the same community. Pwede yun. Anong, paano sinabi kanina yun, Attorney Karen? Oh, we can disagree but not be disagreeable. Diba? Sabi ko nga kanina, positive plus positive, hindi pa ako sure, pero it's still positive. Akala ko negative eh. Diba? So that's it. I'm saying, dapat positive lang lahat. Huwag na nating gawing negative ang Pilipinas. Let us work all together, individually, in groups, in communities, to make change. Happen. Let us start in making global terrorism insignificant by quickly rebuilding Marawi. Ang gusto naman makita ng terorista, masira ang isang komunidad, matakot ang isang komunidad. Paano ba natin ipakita na wala kayong effect dito sa amin? We'll quickly rebuild kung ano yung sinira ng terrorism. Let us work on our poverty incidents that has been taken advantage of by narco politicians. Ang kalaban natin hindi ikaw ma'am, 'di ba? Ang kalaban natin ano? Ano ang kalaban natin? Well, yes, criminals, terrorists, kahirapan Well, yes, alam na natin yan. But this is not his time. Tapos na yung time niya. Time ko na naman. Let us, oo, oh, may time limit daw kasi kulang ang budget. Let us set aside our personal politics that has torn our country. Every time we have a new president, Every time may bago tayong presidente, sinisira natin ang bansa natin. Let us change that. Five years. Five years. We need to push and push and push and see a change in five years. And yun lang yung time natin. Yun lang. 
Yun lang. Kailangan natin mabilis. Kailangan natin magtulong-tulong. Let us make our respective groups carriers of positive voice in our communities. Let us stand together for our country. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Maraming salamat. Huwag maayong buntag sa sa inyo ang tanan. Uh, delicious. <laughs>